In this video, we're going to look at some basic uh, specimen repair uh, examples. And so all I'm using here for this, um, I have some uh, white glue, some Elmer's white glue. I have a few extra pins back here, and I have fine tip forceps. I would usually always do this under a microscope, but for the purposes of recording, I'm going to try it without. So this is a specimen here, which um, is just a little bit loose and has fallen down on the pin. So what I'm going to do is try to get my forceps gently in here, and I'm going to push it up. Now, obviously, this isn't where we want it to be permanently, but I'm just going to move it there. I'm going to grab a little bit of glue here with my pin, and I'm just going to apply it to the side of the pin. And I try to get it on both sides of the pin. There. Just kind of spread it a little bit. Um, now what I'm going to do, the reason I pushed this up so high, is I'm going to push it back down so that it kind of forces that glue into the junction, to that hole um, where the pin goes. That was actually probably too much glue, but luckily this dries pretty clear. Um, and so from here, now I actually tried to set it up with the labels so that's at a good height. Um, right, I have enough space to grab the head of the pin up here with my fingers. And because this is kind of the position I want it to be in, I'm now just going to pin it here to the side of the cork, and I'll leave it here to dry uh, for maybe five minutes or so. Here is a quick second example. You can see that this beetle is just kind of spinning, and again, I've kind of pushed it up away from the labels. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab a little bit of glue. doesn't take very much. Try to use a little bit less than last time. Just kind of apply it there to the pin. And now I'm going to gently push the beetle down until it's kind of where it should be. And that glue's kind of filled the position, um, or the hole there between the, the insect and the pin. I'm going to do the same thing. Still have the first beetle drying, and I'm going to pin this here, oops, and let that dry for a minute. Now this one, if it's not quite um, lined up with the labels, that's okay. Um, one, I can spin this maybe, get it lined up, uh, but two, I can adjust the labels afterwards. I want to let this glue set and let the beetle stay on the pin. So here we have um, a more complicated repair. This this prothorax here is broken off from the rest of the beetle. And um, this is going to be very similar to the first, uh, but we're not attaching it to the pin. Again, I would always do this under a microscope, so we'll see how well this example works. But I'm going to take this here, and I'm going to apply glue around the outside margin of uh, the mesothorax here, this junction where everything went in. Um, this is kind of a, a, I don't know, just an art more than a science. Uh, you want to you need to get enough to hold the bits together, but you don't want to get so much that it's going to kind of come out um, and be visible and annoying. Now I'm going to try to take this, and I'm going to, um, I grabbed it by the leg here, and I'm just going to try to get it approximately. Now this part is where it's easier under a microscope. I'm going to use my finger to very delicately and gently try to position this. That's actually okay um, here, but it's, it's hard to get it exactly where you think it should be, but you just give it a few little nudges, try to get it square. Um, this is kind of hard with the phone there, and there we go, that looks, pretty good to me. Um, certainly, it's better than having two pieces. And again, I, I don't, um, I'm going to use a cork here because I don't want this to fall apart while it's drying. And I'm just going to do something like that and let that sit for a few moments to dry. And finally, I want to show two examples of what you might do if you can't actually reattach the bits of the beetle together. Now, this first example, um, it's a neon specimen where, again, the head and the pronotum has fallen off from the rest of this beetle. 
Um, and in this case, uh, it was glued here onto the locality label, which is great and perfectly fine to do. But And you see that it doesn't really block any of the writing. You can still see everything on that label. So that's great. The other thing you could have done is cut a small rectangle, maybe a third the size or a quarter the size of this locality label, and attached it just underneath the specimen. And this is an example of what that might look like. In this case, this is a point, just a small regular point underneath this beetle, a non-neon specimen. And actually, this wasn't something that fell off. This was a dissection. And so here you can see sort of that this is... Um, that back end bit of the abdomen that was pried off. And so that's still glued here to the point and preserved along with, this is a male, that's the Ediagus, that's, that's glued to the tip. But you could glue legs um, or an abdomen or anything else uh, that you wanted to, to a point or a small piece of uh, paper or um, a card, basically card mount it underneath uh, the beetle to maintain it with the specimen in perpetuity. So let's take a look at these specimens that were just repaired. So this was the first one, which uh, I mentioned I used maybe a little bit too much glue. This has been maybe five minutes that it's been drying since I glued it. And yeah, you can see, actually it's probably not quite dry there and there's a little glob of glue, but it's not so bad. And that's as much as you ever really want sticking out, getting in the way of the specimen. The second one that I glued to the pin was, uh, I used a bit, less glue and you can see yeah you can see it but that's certainly not in the way and you wouldn't even notice it unless you were looking for it um, and now it's firmly affixed to the pin and not spinning and finally a specimen here that had glued if you look in the side you can see a little bit of white there um, you actually can see some strings or some uh some str probably from the glue um or just some other fibers on there. And we can actually pull those off with uh, your forceps. Again, I would do this under a microscope, but you can remove that if it bothers you. Um, but as you can see, uh, the specimen looks pretty much good as new, and all of that glue is underneath the uh, pronotum there, or, or inside kind of the prothorax junction.